What's going on guys? Cliff and Denny with On Your Own Outdoors. Hey guys, so keeping with the trend, we're here to talk about another XOP product. And the XOP product we're talking about today is the XOP Mondo. It is the hybrid saddle slash fall harness slash safety harness, whatever it is you want to call it. I think there's about 15 different names. The big deal with that is, is it's one price for two items. Y'all know me, bang for your buck. That's the direction I'm always going. Number one, before we even get started, if you get on XOP's website, you see anything on there you're interested in, there you go. That'll help you save a little money. Again, XOP products are usually on that cheaper end when it comes to pricing, but every little bit helps. This hybrid saddle, if you will, comes in at $149. And what we're gonna do first is talk about the things that you get for that. So you get a safety harness and you get a saddle, obviously. You've got one rope here that I've already got connected as a bridge. Lyman's rope or tether. Lyman's rope or tether. Uh, and it does come with your carabiners and it's got your knots on each one of the ropes. So they're universal. You can use them however you want to. This thing is comfortable. There's a couple of key pieces about this that I want to talk about. So we're going to kind of do like we always do and run through the specs first. Number one, two pounds. The full system itself weighs 4.2 pounds. Um, the waistband, we'll go ahead and talk about that. All these clips are forged aluminum. Um, so they're super durable and they're lightweight. The only thing everybody knows, I got to find something to gripe about. If you go to banging them real hard, they do make some noise. So if XOP could get some kind of rubber coating to go around those, for me, I would just like it better it is what it is. I got to be a complainer at times. But anyhow, we're going to talk about the waist belt first. So the waist belt, it goes from a 28 inch waist up to a 48 inch waist. As you can see, I kind of leave mine loose. It's just how I like mine. Uh, user preference on that. They recommend 100 pounds up to 350 pounds. So XOP with their normal thing, they don't forget about those big guys. Uh, they make all their products for the most part. Every one of them that I've played with anyways got that 350 pound rating, which is awesome because it's not just little guys climbing these trees. We got some big boys out there doing it as well. So as far as specs goes, that's about all you have. You've got your connection up top. It is just a plastic connection here. Adjustment on each side that so you can tighten up your shoulder straps, loosen them off however you want them. Again, you've got the waist. You've got a leg strap on each side that comes around. I like these because they're detachable. Not all saddles are. These are detachable. I like that because a lot of times what you will end up seeing me doing is this. I will undo that dude and shove it in my pocket just so whenever I'm walking, I don't have that kind of rub in between. One thing, if you've watched any of my other saddle reviews that I always talk about is do not cut your tag line. Do not cut the line off of the end. Uh, XOP kind of thought about that here. And if you look right there at this black thing, it's kind of stretchy. And so instead of cutting and burning or doing what I do, which is like, um, usually what I end up doing is I'll take and roll that and then I'll wrap it in electrical tape so I don't have to cut that, but it keeps it clean. As you can see here, all you got to do is double that back through, put it underneath that, uh, and it holds it pretty good. So it's going to keep you from cutting or keeping you from having to use any kind of tape or anything like that. Hey guys, as we go through this video, um, I want to apologize ahead of time if there's some wind noise. Uh, it's that time of year in Arkansas, it's windy. And uh, to be honest with you, I couldn't find my camera mount. So <laughs> I'm having to use my secondary camera, which does not deal with the wind nearly as good as my main camera. So we'll just move on past that. Just know if you get some, that's my bad and I'll do better next time. So what we're going to do is I've got the retrograde on the tree. I've got it down here low. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to get up, as you can see up here above me, uh, I've already got my tether hung up in the tree and we're going to kind of run through how I can use my tether. Um, and I can use that for my fall system, or I can use that if I wanted to saddle hunt and how using the retrograde with that little bitty platform works great for both. Number one, if you haven't watched the retrograde video, go back and watch it now. It's got a tiny little platform on it. And I said in there that I think it would be great for this system. Um, and I have not played in this system in this yet, but I, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be great for it. So anyways, um, like I said, I've got my bridge already. I've got my tether up in the tree. Just know if I was going to go up this tree right now um, and I was going at any height, I would go ahead and use my lineman's rope. But obviously I've got this thing just above knee height. So I'm not gonna use a lineman's rope to climb up in the tree. 
Um, but let's get on up here and talk about this thing. So what I do guys, as far as my bridge goes, because this is a pretty long rope, um, what I did that I seem to uh, think worked the best, at least for me, is I just kind of ran that through your lineman's rope would go. And then I just went ahead and locked it in place up here, just kind of like an extra sense of security. Um, and it just kind of cleans that stuff up, gets it out of your way. You could twist it around a couple of times or whatever if you wanted to. But hanging in the tree, it does awesome. It does exactly what a saddle is supposed to do. So it's just as comfortable as all the other saddles. I don't want to say there's not anything particularly you know, special about it, but a lot of these saddles nowadays are coming out. Everything is pretty similar in between all of them, except for the price points. Uh, price points can get crazy. Um, one plus thing about this one, as you can see here around the outside of the belt, I've got places for dump pouches all the way around. When you're sitting in the saddle itself, if you see here on the bottom side, you've got like the two inch uh, outside here. So what that does is it keeps it from pinching in. You've got a wider point, so you don't get any pinch there. I don't get any hip, hip pinch here. The way that it connects in the front, it's comfortable. Um, using the rope here, I can adjust my bridge in and out. I can adjust my tether. I know guys are gonna get in here and be like, your tether's supposed to be higher, it's supposed to be lower. Calm down, I'm just doing a video. I promise it's gonna be okay. So what I wanted to talk about though is using that retrograde and having this. Obviously, I can use this thing as a saddle platform just like you would any other time. If I wanted to tighten this guy up, and now I'm up here close to the tree, but I wanted to take that shot. The thing about using the retrograde with this or any other kind of big platform is that you do have all that movement. I have the free flow of movement that I would if I was just up here hunting, right? Um, if I was just up here using this as a traditional lock on and not using a saddle, but having that saddle does give me the option to kind of get off to the sides and, and, and so on and so forth. But I'm gonna back this dude off. By the way, when you get this thing in, play with your knots because they're going to be super tight when you first get them so play with them get them loosened up the big deal about this guy other than the price because i think that's probably the absolute biggest deal about it is the price is this so i'm up in my tree i've been hanging out for four hours haven't seen anything moving around i'm like man i need to sit down for a minute i just want to take a load off I understand saddle guys. Y'all say y'all can sit in these things all day long. I don't like sitting in a saddle all day long. So that's just me. But anyways, I'm tired of sitting like this. I wanna get down here in my bag. I'm gonna get out my sandwich. I can literally unclip up here. And again, guys, if you wanted to throw your lineman's rope around so you're never completely disconnected from the tree, you most certainly could do that. But what I'm gonna do here is I would do just like this. So I've got that dude undone. I'm gonna loosen it off. I do like to put that back in there. I don't know why, it's just habit, I guess. But now, bring this guy back around, and all I'm gonna do is clip it back here to the back. And now, I'm just normal lock-on hunting. If this guy's in my way, I can tell you if I was in here, I would most certainly go ahead get this guy, take my bridge completely off, throw it to the side, and now it's just like I'm normal tree stand hunting. I could obviously loosen that guy off a little bit because whenever I'm turning, it still seems a little tight. But now I'm just hunting out of a normal tree stand. Um, and the reason that I think this is a big deal is whenever I go to hang a lock on, I do like to use that lineman's rope. It makes everything a little bit easier, but when you're saddle hunting, you know how much easier it is to hang your sticks in a tree and that kind of thing when you're in a saddle. Having this hybrid saddle gives you the availability to do that whether you plan on tree stand hunting or you plan on saddle hunting or you plan on doing some kind of hybrid setup. So if you go out and you put a lock on in a tree and you know, right, wrong, or indifferent, like one I've got out here behind the house, the, tree, the seat's rotted out. Well, now I can just take my saddle. I can use the platform that's on there already. I can take my saddle, it's a hybrid. If I wanna be standing up for a while, I can take it just hooked to the back here and I'm facing away from the tree. If I wanna be facing the tree, I can take, hook it in like a saddle and, uh, and be good to go there. 
Another reason that I think this is big deal for me is because of self-filming. I don't know about all the other self-filmers, but for myself, uh, I have found it pretty difficult to self-film out of a saddle. And, uh, and it's probably just because I'm used to doing it out of a tree stand. But um, guys, that is the XOP Mondo. I know it's kind of a short video. It's short and sweet. It's to the point, but it is a hybrid saddle that is less than $200. Use that discount code. I think it's 15% off, so it's less than $150. Um, absolutely outstanding product. I like it. Um, this is going to actually be a saddle that I will probably use. Uh, if you've watched a lot of my videos, I'm not a huge saddle guy, uh, and it's because of the fiddle factor. But with this, it just doesn't feel that way, and it's because I've got to wear a safety harness anyways, and my wife's going to beat me up, so I might as well just have the hybrid, right? So... Anyways, guys, the last thing I'm gonna talk about really quick is you see this wadded up over here. This is a fall assist system. Uh, you can take it off if you want to. I'm not telling you to, but I'm saying that it's not on mine. Uh, but anyways, you can take that off if you want to, but if you wanted to leave it on, what's awesome about that, guys, if you fall out of the stand, you can make a loop in the bottom of it, step inside of it, and it takes that pressure off um, so that you can get yourself back up in the stand. So it is super beneficial. Don't listen to me, don't take it off, leave it on there. It's not in your way. Um, but yeah guys that is the mondo xop's new saddle outstanding every product they did this year has been just great but uh anyways guys that's all i got for y'all today don't forget to like and subscribe uh go back to the home page hit that little bell up top because starting next week we're going to start running through the carrying systems for their lock-ons uh for the retrograde um for the cold world we're going to run through all of their carrying systems on each one of the stands kind of see which one i like better uh versus the other so until next time guys good hunting